what a pleasure to be here with a writer. Like it's it's out of all the great actors and directors, I've learned to really appreciate the writers in the industry. So I've got a couple of questions for you. I know you studied at Northwestern and USC, but can you hone down on like one of the best, you know, writing tidbits you got through your education that that you use today from I mean either school? I know you probably got great advice at both schools, but is there something that like really stands out that you really hone in on while you're while you're creating these stories? Yeah, I think um, I think so many people try to write what people think people want to see, and so early on, people would tell me, "Just write who you are. Write what you know," because um, and I think especially being an African American female, so many of our stories that just exist naturally in our lives just aren't told on screen and so why it might not feel fresh and new to me um, my story is still important and um, and underrepresented so I do think that the advice to you don't have to reach to go to the moon or to go to Mars you know to do all these things that you think oh that would be fun for people to see or that might be something that would sell just um, be authentic to who you are and tell your stories and people will resonate, that will resonate with, with, with people. So I guess just to trust your story. Okay, and when you're, when you're writing as just a creator and you're creating something new, as opposed to writing on maybe Deadline as you're doing for season two of Bel Air and having to turn in shows to, like, how do you get through the, the writer's block when you have like a time limit on this and it's not just oh I'll just wait till I feel good about this but I have to get something done you know for a certain day like how do you like push through like what is like what are some of the things you do to push through like to 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 get to create Right. You just got to sit in the chair because there's no time for writer's block. There's no time to sit there <laughs> and like and wait for inspiration to hit you. You know, there's nothing uh, more um, inspiring than it's due tomorrow at 8 a.m. So you just if you've got to pull an all nighter, honestly, it's just sitting in the chair. So much of this job, myself included, is procrastination and a lot of thinking and pondering and listening to music and taking long walks. <laughs> but when you really just have to sit in the chair and put it on the page, um, that's that's the work. You just have to do the work and the discipline of just sitting down and putting those hands on the keys. Um, and it comes, it comes, but you just gotta put yourself in the chair. <laughs> How do you balance the <clears throat> the story of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air that we all fell in love with in, uh, I don't even wanna say, is it the 80s or 90s and in, in the 90s? Um, how do you balance that with, the, with, this, with this new iteration of the story of Bel-Air like, do you take cues from, I mean, of course there's those characters, but like, do you go look at those episodes to create new episodes? Like, how do you, how do you uh, blend uh, the two worlds of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and bel -Air? Yeah, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of like carrying the foundation and the heartbeat of the things that people loved about this family and the legacy series. You know, including myself, just the love of this family, the aspiration of this family. Like we all wanted a family like that. And so really being able to hold on to the things that we loved about that original, the, what I said, the heartbeat of that original, um, and bringing that to this new world, but then really just being able to creatively blow the doors off and just say, okay, but now the sky's the limit. Who are they now? Um, so I think it is a combination of, of holding on to the things that, um, that we cherished but then opening it up to um, something that feels unexpected and, and fresh and new. Like what, what are some of the goals and aspirations of Baby Cakes Productions? Is it, or do, you, do you have like one of these projects that you really want to get to or that you're working on now or anything else? To, or do, do you want to hit a certain lane? Like what, can you tell me a little bit, bit about the direction of, of Baby Cakes and what you guys are here to create? You know, I just want to be able to tell more of our stories. You know, I think that's why I'm here, to be a story teller and to be a gatekeeper, you know, of African-American stories, of black female stories, um, empowering stories. So whatever space I'm in, I feel like I just always want to have something to say. Um, and I feel like I'm able to do it with these characters um, in Bel Air. But um, 
yeah, what, whatever genre I'm doing for Baby Cakes Productions, I just want to feel like I left something behind that people can hold on to and say, yeah, thank God Baby Cakes was here, you know, to tell those stories that people can feel proud of, you know, when they, when they turn on their TV and it's like, okay, I'm glad somebody felt, filled that void, somebody told that story, because that's my story. I appreciate your time and I'm cheering for you to achieve all your goals. I know there's more to come and uh, and I can't wait to see whatever you got going on in the Thank you. Thank you. So much.